Hey, welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot. I am Alexis. For the purposes of this channel, I do go by Indigo. Um, other than that, this reading is for Aries, the collective, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North and South Nodes, 8th, 12th house. Um, I am doing the same spread as I did last month. It is for sections. I do general energies, love energies, career, finance energies, and then um, messages just like on a more spiritual level. Um, starting off your angel numbers, you have a lot of threes here, you have a lot of sevens here as well. Um, I want to say you have maybe a few nines, okay? Um, what else do we have? And a couple of fours, right? I believe we have a couple of eights here as well. So, we have a significant amount of numbers, okay? All of those are pretty much talking about, um cycles um a few of those numbers are talking about like spiritual guidance and um spiritual energies that are surrounding you so some of those are really good but getting into your general energies the first one that i have here and i've, I've clarified most of these already so the first energy as far as like what's influencing your life for the remainder of 2019 this is door to personal healing and happiness this is your first seven all right this is basically talking about personal beginnings, new beginnings, just on a more personal level, as well as obviously healing. Okay, so going through a healing process, a transformation process, stepping into a new phase and a new cycle. All right, this is clarified by the reverse seven of cups and the reverse four of cups. All right, so another seven here. Um, this is, these actually came out separate. I use this one to further clarify the seven. So this is like a clarity all right i feel like something is being seen here with a lot more clarity okay if there were any um fantastical illusions ideas daydreaming if some if at some point you someone in your energy wasn't grounded in reality i feel like that's changing if there was a point where you were caught up in your mind caught up in maybe um a situation that you weren't content in or a situation that you didn't have a lot of clarity in i feel like if there was any confusion or any um stagnancy i feel like you're coming out of that energy and once again you're stepping into something new all right the reverse seven of cups it talks about seeing things more clearly and the reverse four of cups it talks about a sudden awareness you know coming out of that apathetic discontent bored disgruntled energy no longer being stagnant and just stuck in your head stuck in your emotions it's finally um like choosing to like come back to reality as well as choosing to move forward okay it's no longer just like sitting there and, and just being caught up in the motions or caught up in your feelings and thoughts about things okay so this is a good energy this feels like something here is changing and moving all right this is further technically the healing card right here this came out with the reversed second chakra which is your first nine here being a 36 so the second chakra that deals with intimacy it deals with creativity it deals with abundance um, it can, it deals with emotions, right? It deals with things that you are tied to on an intimate level, okay? When this, is go, when this goes into the reverse, it talks about blockages, okay? So there could be some healing that's needing to be done, hence why it came out with the healing card. Um, there could be some emotional or some intimate creative blockages that you're needing to work through. Um, maybe holding on to some, some kind of energies or maybe dealing with some pent up or lingering energies from a relationship or just something that you were really connected to on an intimate level. Um, this is further clarified by the reversed hangman, the six of wands, and the ace of swords. Okay, so here we go with that. So furthermore, with this, in, in correlation to this, this is more like a, um, once again, this Ace of Swords just talks about like a certain amount of clarity, okay? The Ace of Swords talks about truth, injustice, and balance. All right, it can't talk about communication, but it's definitely an energy of newness and truth, okay? This is not an energy that you are confused about anymore. So this is really good. Also, this can talk about like cutting something out as well as seeing something more clearly. Um, with the reverse hangman, this talks about resistance to me. Sometimes it can be um, resistance out of fear, resistance out of ego, trying to control things excessively. Um, and and I, I feel like this is a heavy resistance because this is the first card that came out to clarify this, okay? Um, I pulled these two to just further clarify, and I feel like there's going to be 
or you could have like a victory in overcoming this resistance, this blockage, this stagnancy. I do feel like this is an energy that you can overcome. It's just, it's going to take you some effort, but there's something here that possibly needs your attention. But I do feel like you have something, um, something that you will kind of like, it's like after you kind of get this second chakra, into the upright that is the victory in the situation or that propels you to some kind of victory in the situation okay but there's some kind of resistance here that needs to be let go of and surrendered to okay because you want this hangman to be in the reverse it's all about letting go okay it's all about surrendering to the process as well as seeing things from a new perspective hence this ace of wands and i do feel like if you haven't already you will be seeing whatever this blockage is in regards to emotions, intimacy, creativity, possibly even abundance. I feel like whatever this blockage is, you'll be seeing things more clearly and possibly there could be something here that you're cutting out with this Ace of Swords if you're not just seeing it from a new perspective and taking a different approach. All right, but the Six of Wands talks about victory and recognition. So um, either you're gaining victory over the situation or the success is that you're seeing it more with more clarity. Okay, so... Uh, let me put this back. All right, the second set of cards, and those two came out together. <laughs> those two came out together, and then we have uh, four more that came out for your general energy. So your cards were just like super talkative. Um, the first card that came out for this one in your overall energy is the Ascendant Masters, and I think that's why so many threes are here. Okay, um, and this is further clarified by the Three of Cups. So the Ascendant Masters is just—it's a very uh, heightened spiritual energy just means you have a lot of spirit guides around you kind of like cheering you on sending you messages communicating with you through synchronicities and confirmations it's just letting you know that you have spiritual have a spiritual support system and that's further amplified by this three of cups typically this talks about like um reunion celebrations it talks about a social kind of energy um, when it's on like a mundane level, it talks about like friendships, right? Going out, socializing, enjoying yourself, partying. But in this context, because with this, it because it's with the ascended masters, I feel like this is just saying that you have um, a lot of spiritual support. You have a very strong spiritual team around you, spirit guides, ancestors, ascended masters. Um, if you're drawn to certain ones, like maybe uh, Kwan Yin or Ganesha or or Lakshmi or you know, if you are someone who is Christian, Jesus, you know, any, all of those energies are, you know, ascended masters, okay? But this is just talking about the spirit guides, the ancestors, the spiritual support that you have around you. And it, this is a happy energy, okay? So this is really good. I like this. Um, further clarifying, that is the God Box card. So this is basically just saying that you need to kind of like let your worries, um, let your worries go kind of like <laughs> Jesus take the world that's funny um it's just the energy of needing to release your your fears your worries your stress releasing it to a higher power knowing that things are going to work out well and um that you have nothing to worry about essentially okay any worries concerns it's basically letting go of those and allowing the divine or whatever it is that you believe in to help you all right, this is further clarified by the reverse ten of pentacles with the page of wands. So, um, once again, I don't like this reverse ten of pentacles. Um, possibly whatever concerns or worries that you may have, whatever is needing to be let go of, it could have to do with a family or domestic situation. It could have to do, it could have to do with finances, to be honest. Um, anything in regards to domestic situations and relationships, um, finances, anything that is supposed to be, you know, long term. And possibly there could be something here that you're not having a lot of success with or this could be a dysfunctional family situation um a, a one-on-one -on -one, like a romantic connection breakup a disconnect some kind of separation or something is just not cohesive and it's not um bringing a lot of success or longevity or abundance even okay so this could be a relationship this could be finances whatever this energy is you're needing to basically release your stress and your concerns in regards to it because worrying about something doesn't change it you know um with the page of wands here this is all about taking um, a new approach you know also i do feel like um because this is kind of um this card is clarifying the ascended masters i do feel like with this page of wands being here i feel like it, it correlates with this three of cups over here 
just about like communication and the spiritual support that you have like i said you do have ascended masters who are surrounding you and most likely communicating with you like through synchronicities and confirmations and i feel like those messages you really needing to pay attention to those but other than that i feel like you're needing to release um energies and situations that are not bringing you stability they're not bringing you security or longevity um dysfunctional energy breakups um releasing like a poverty consciousness as well you need to release those things okay and with the page of wands this is an energy of kind of like a free spirited energy where you you're, you're excited you're going after something new okay it's gonna be a new creative project but this is taking on a more youthful free spirited energy after you release your concerns to you know whatever higher source that you believe in okay um basically drop lightening your burden you know not being weighed down by whatever this reverse ten of pentacles energy is for you like i said whether it's family whether it's money whether it's you know um a romantic relationship whatever so that's a pretty good energy it's basically telling you that you have spiritual support around you and that whatever it is that you are excessively worrying about you're not needing to worry about it as much as you are you need to release it a little bit give it a little bit of breathing room and let things unfold how they are supposed to obviously do what you can but over worrying about something isn't going to change the outcome okay you do what you can do and then you just you know you let things play out but um the last two cards that we have here as far as your general energies are the wisdom so you have wisdom here with the protection card as well so this is good this is signifying that most likely you've been through some things or you are gaining some wisdom or you're operating out of wisdom okay or you're needing to take any of those that apply i feel like with this energy though especially because the ascended masters are here and you have all of these cards of seeing things with more clarity and stepping into a new cycle of healing and new beginnings and balance and all of those um wonderful energies this is like you've been through something and now you have wisdom you're not operating as you're going into like this new beginning you're not operating out of um naive like a naive energy you are operating out of experience now you've gained wisdom all right or you're gaining this wisdom this is a master number of 22 this is a four this is a solid energy this is a very grounded energy and i feel like um, if, if you're not already, you're stepping into this, okay? This is further clarified by the Seven of Pentacles with the Reverse Page of Cups. So, um, this is definitely, um, if you were at some point dealing with, like, emotional, um, immaturity or insecurity, I feel like this wisdom, you're coming out of that, okay? If you were dealing with someone else who took on, um, an, an immature or an insecure kind of energy, I feel like you're gain, you've are you gained wisdom from that and now with this wisdom part, you know how to deal with this energy, okay? So whether this is internal or external um, immaturity or insecurity, I feel like you're overcoming that. You're gaining wisdom in regards to this. Um, on a more external level, if this is like someone that you were dealing with, you, like I said, you could have been dealing with somebody who was not the most mature. Um, maybe somebody here kept you waiting. <laughs> and... Um, you, you you are or you either have or you are gaining the wisdom as far as like how to deal with this i do feel like you could be reassessing some things um planning how you're going to move forward and also you could have like a any kind of water sign pisces cancer scorpio waiting planning reassessing the situation with you okay but from what i feel like this is i feel like this is you gaining wisdom from everything that you've been through seeing things with a lot more clarity and it's like you're reassessing um a particular situation or maybe even a person whether or not something here is worth your time if you're going to get the return on your investment um i feel like you are just trying to move forward um i feel like you're trying to work smarter and operate in a very um i don't want to say a strategic way but i feel like you're just putting more thought and planning and wisdom into your actions and how you want to navigate the situation or your life moving forward and further clarifying the wisdom card is the protection card here which is a six very balanced number this is basically saying what the ascendant masters is saying that you have like that you're being protected that you are loved you are supported and you're being guided all right um this is further clarified by the reverse nine of wands with the knight of cups and the ten of wands so once again like i said i feel like you have been dealing with some some different things okay i feel like you maybe things haven't been super easy or super um things haven't been flowing all right you could have been dealing with some challenges here with this 10 with this 10 of wands 
this is a burdensome energy this is an overextending kind of energy this is where you have taken on so much responsibility and you put so much energy so much time and effort into a particular situation or a person that it, it's starting to weigh down on you or it, it weighed down on you in the past and i do feel like if this isn't your energy this burdensome energy you could have you know someone pisces cancer scorpio strong pisces you know coming in kind of defensive kind of a paranoid burden trying to offer you something and you could be being protected from an external energy that's trying to um, take a defensive stance with you okay but with this knight of cups I do feel like this could have to do with love emotions it could be like a love offer someone taking a defensive stance with you possibly putting in a lot of effort to do so or feeling burdened by the need to do so by the need to approach you the reverse knight of wands sometimes it is talking it does talk about like giving up on a situation being exhausted but sometimes it can kind of go to the extreme of like being paranoid or overly defensive um as far as yourself or as far as approaching the situation so that if this isn't you this could be someone external to you taking on this overly defensive or paranoid energy okay trying to offer you something and maybe um not being the most diplomatic or yeah not being the most diplomatic in the way that it's offered i feel like there's an energy of trying to offer you something that you could possibly be protected from on a spiritual level okay so yes uh signs you can be dealing with literally any any sign there's strong water here though okay so going into love i do past present future i do the root the cause the foundation of why these energies are even playing out and the most likely outcome if things continue along their course and then, of course, I also have uh, general energies or overall energies influencing your love life for the remainder of 2019 as well. The first card that I got was the reverse make, make the effort card. Um, two cards that wanted to pop out was trust and the reconciliation card. I wasn't able to keep those um, because of how they fell, but those two cards wanted to come out. So once again, having the spiritual protection, the ascended masters, you're needing to trust that you know things are going to work out for like your highest good okay but other than that this reverse make the effort i feel like somebody here either doesn't want to make the effort or someone here just isn't making the effort for whatever reason all right this is further clarified by the king of cups the reverse death card and the three of cups like i said there's a lot of cup energy here you could be dealing with this strong water okay so if you don't have water in your chart you could be dealing with a water sign or someone who is just in a very emotional feeling you know kind of energy uh strong scorpio though with this king of cups this is scorpio with this reverse death card this is scorpio okay so i do feel like this is a very this this is a stubborn energy okay the reverse death card it talks about um it talks about lazarus a lazarus energy a situation that is ended resurrecting itself but this is also talking about possibly you know a scorpio or a person that you're dealing with they could be resisting an end to the situation okay i don't know if there was a third party situation that you dealt with in the past but i feel like if there's an energy that's not making an effort towards you it could be because some things haven't ended with a third party hence this reverse death card signifying um either that something has not ended or something is not changing or something is still ongoing it hasn't undergone a transformation it hasn't changed um it hasn't ended okay so possibly somebody here hasn't made the effort with you because they're dealing with some kind of cycle with a third party and then also for some of you this could be that maybe somebody here has a lot of feelings but they're not making the effort to bring in this like reconciliation kind of energy okay um this can show resistance to the end of the situation because somebody wants to reconcile but maybe they're not showing you this maybe they're not making any effort towards making this happen um and like i said if it's not that then someone here could be caught up in a third party okay and the other card that i got for your overall energies influencing your love life are the is the free yourself card i'm sorry um it's time to take back control of your life so that's pretty straightforward so there's something here that's possibly like i said i feel like you've been through some things and i feel like something here is just possibly not you're needing you're needing to take a wise approach towards it if you have not already and you need to like free yourself from something here okay uh this is further clarified by the star and the world so uh successfully closing out a cycle healing stepping into your destiny it's like once you free yourself you're able to heal once you free yourself you're able to go in that in the direction that you're meant to go okay this is a card about being divinely guided and divinely protected 
Um, this is a card about healing as well as wish fulfillment, stepping into your destiny and being protected as you do so and divinely guided as you do so. And this is like it's a part of your path. It's a part of closing out whatever this cycle is for you. Just glancing at the cards, it doesn't look like this was a very harmonious situation, at least not in the the current energies or the recent past energies, okay? But definitely closing out a cycle successfully, healing and moving forward towards some kind of wish fulfillment and being divinely protected and guided as you do so. But there's something here that you definitely need to free yourself from, especially if um, someone being in a third party resonated for you. Don't. Yeah. Never mind. But if that resonates for you, then that's most likely why this is saying free yourself. Okay. And then other than that, like I said, if this is just somebody who has emotion, who's not wanting the end of a situation, wanting a reconciliation, but they're not showing it and they're not taking action, it's not necessarily your job to wait or, you know, whatever would prevent you from freeing yourself if that's something that you're being called to do. And it looks like you are. So those are the overall energies. And as far as the most significant and relevant past energies in your love life, I have the reverse tower, the reverse hierophant, and the two of pentacles, okay? So this card came out first, and for the clarifying were these two, the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, the Reverse Tower, I, like I said, I, I feel like something here happened, alright? Something significant, major happened, or maybe multiple things happened that caused you or put you in a particular energy to where, like I said, maybe in the past you didn't see a situation clearly. Maybe in the past you weren't content with the situation, um, and, and the Seven of Cups is here, so like I said... You know, maybe there was some, like, extra energies going on involved in a situation, especially if there was a third party. Maybe somebody had, like, a lot of options. But more than anything, I feel like there's the overall message of this is clarity and having spiritual wisdom and protection with you. And I feel like a tower moment did happen in the past. I do feel like um, maybe after this, this moment happened, somebody here just tried to overall avoid a person or a situation. Um, in the past, it does look like maybe somebody here was juggling, okay, with the Two of Pentacles. This talks about going back and forth, a juggling act between um, two people, places, things, situations, or just internally, okay? But with this reverse hierarchy card being here, um, this is a very rebellious and a stubborn energy, okay? This can be a, an energy that doesn't do things in a traditional way. It's very unconventional. It's not really the traditional, conventional type, especially in regards to you know spirituality and relationships okay so this is talking about a relationship a commitment this is somebody who doesn't really do commitment in a traditional way or at all this can be a commitment full kind of energy this can also be somebody who doesn't make wise decisions all right and i do feel like maybe a tower moment happened in regards to a commitment or to someone who wasn't the commitment type or the conventional type all right and like i said maybe somebody here in the past was doing some juggling between two people places and situations or maybe just somebody was indecisive about how they felt due to issues with doing things in a traditional or a committed fashion okay so that is the recent past as far as your your present energies we have the reverse dual cups so like i said i feel like something in the past happened a break up a tower moment happened you were dealing with a stubborn energy a non-commitment type energy um someone who doesn't do things traditionally somebody who was juggling you in another situation whether that's a person whether that's work whether that's family children whatever somebody had divided attention or somebody here was indecisive all right in the past in regards to your love life and in the present energies you have the two of cups so this talks about tension and separation okay so um if you're still in contact with this person and it, it doesn't necessarily look like that you are but if you are in contact with this person maybe things are not cohesive they're not really harmonious there's a lot of tension there and then from what it looks like uh, this looks like it's more of a separation where there's no contact um so, like I said, a breakup, it, it looks like a breakup is current here. Separated, possibly you're not even talking to someone here. Or you're not connecting with someone cohesively. Alright, in the near future energies, I have the Eight of Cups. This, so this was the first card to come out. Alright, so Eight of Cups, that's pretty straightforward. That's literally emotionally withdrawing and or physically walking away from a situation that is no longer fulfilling to you. Okay, this is further clarified. And this is you or someone else. Take what resonates. Right, this is further clarified by the moon. That's another nine. Um, further clarified by the moon, the devil, and the page of cups. Okay. Alright, so we have a, a repeat now in this page of cups being here. So, um, in the near future, somebody will be withdrawing and or walking away from a situation. Alright, possibly due to secrets, possibly due to fears. I do feel like in the... 
you, you could be dealing like with a, a toxic connection or um, someone who is maybe a little bit controlling or or obsessive in some way um, possibly like I said somebody here is concealing their feelings okay um, if that is the case they're not making an effort but the feelings are there I don't know if that it matters to you but that is a possibility with this energy the moon talks about things that you don't know things that you don't see clearly as well as it talks about fears and anxieties okay so like I said somebody here could be walking away due to just a situation not being what someone thought it was or due to a situation um, bringing out a lot of fear and anxiety within someone okay possibly somebody is just wanting to walk away from whatever secrets or illusions or whatever this hidden energy is um, maybe a person or a situation brings up a lot of fears or a lot of confusion for you causing someone to want to walk away um, and like I said you could have somebody here uh, maybe somebody who carries like a very strong uh, a strong energy with them you could be dealing with the Capricorn but you know, that's not really how I see it there's so much water here <laughs> it could be though um, this is an energy of somebody here, like I said, possibly being controlling, not the most mature. Somebody here could be wanting to offer something that you, you know, maybe it'll come out of the blue and it's something that you're not expecting. Or maybe this is something that you won't trust. But I feel like somebody here, this can be an obsessive kind of energy. And with this Page of Cups, it, it can be like an apology, somebody wanting to offer an apology, offer some kind of emotional gesture to you, whether that's a text message, whether that's communication, whether it's a date, whether it's just someone here trying to offer some kind of new start to a situation. Somebody here could definitely be infatuated with someone, okay? The Page of Cups talks about infatuation, crushes, um, emotions, and the Devil talks about obsession, addictions, control, okay? So like I said... Even if you're not aware of this, somebody could be harboring some strong emotions for someone else. And if they do approach a situation, it could come out of the blue. But I do feel like somebody will be walking away due to just maybe a lack of, you know, clarity surrounding a person or a situation, okay? But this technically is an apology and infatuation. Strong, strong infatuation here. All right, at the foundation of this, like why these energies are even playing out or why this situation is playing out. Uh, these three cards came out together. You have the reverse Five of Pentacles, the reverse Empress, and the reverse um, Eight of Swords. And as far as repeats, the Devil card wanted to come out multiple times. Um, and the Empress card wanted to come out multiple times as well. So this is at the foundation here. So the reverse Five of Pentacles, the Empress in reverse, all of these reversals are really like... Um, kind of a red flag for me it, it shows a lot of uh blockages and obstacles and resistance in a situation something just not working out some reversals are good yes but i just feel like when there's a, a too many of them in a spread it signifies that there's there's a lack of there's a lack of like ease and flow within a situation but that's just my personal opinion um Anyways, with this reverse five pentacles, this talks about overcoming hardship, okay? Possibly someone here is taking themselves out of the cold, over, overcoming this feeling of neglect or abandonment or loss, all right? Or feeling like someone here was rejected or feeling like you don't have everything that you need or like you're being neglected in some way, shape, or form. Someone here is like bringing themselves out of this energy, okay? Uh, with the reverse empress, this can talk about insecurity. Um, yeah, this can talk about insecurity, independency, um and like a smothering kind of energy but that's not how i'm reading this this is more of not not being receptive to a particular situation or a particular energy anymore okay possibly like i said somebody here is taking themselves out of the cold overcoming some kind of hardship that happened in this situation freeing yourself with this reverse eight of swords okay so once again seeing things from a completely new perspective and freeing yourself from you know, negative, self-limiting thought patterns and actions and situations, things that leave you feeling restricted and neglected, all right? Um, and, and possibly you could have somebody here, you know, wanting to come out of the cold in, reg in regards to whoever's carrying on this empress energy. Somebody here could be wanting to come out of the cold, but with these two, it's like somebody's freeing themselves. Somebody here is not receptive to a particular situation anymore. That's really what this looks like, possibly due to neglect in the past or um, secrets, illusions, things not being what they seem someone juggling in the past okay um yeah so either this already happened or someone here either someone here already freed themselves or somebody here will be 
Okay, so this could be, these future energies could be the, definitely be the reaction to someone freeing themselves and taking themselves out of the cold, no longer being receptive or nurturing to a, a person or a situation or a connection anymore. Okay, hence why this reverse two of cups is here and the present energies because somebody here, you know, walked away, broke up, separated. Right, and, and also, um, just so that you're not confused, this Eight of Cups, it, it can talk about physical walking away as well as emotional walking away. And just because you physically walk away from the situation doesn't mean that you emotionally walk away from it. So even if you physically walk away from the situation, this Eight of Cups can be here because maybe you haven't emotionally withdrew from the situation. So in the future, somebody could be emotionally withdrawing if they've already physically walked away. Okay, so just know that it's interchangeable. Just take whatever applies. Right, and I'll clarify a few of these as well. In the outcome, we have the Nine of Wands with the Two of Wands and the Reversed High Priestess. So somebody here is the Empress and the High Priestess. That's really cool. Okay, Even though they're both in the reverse, I just feel like that's somebody here being fed up with a situation. But um, somebody here, whoever's taking on this Empress High Priestess energy, that's beautiful. That you literally have both Divine Feminine energies within you. You're just fed up with the situation. So that's cool. All right, but this Nine of Wands just talks about, it can't talk about someone wanting to fight for a situation, but this is the Wounded Warrior card, okay? This is somebody, like I said, not being receptive, right? This is when you have been put through the ringer. You've been through, you've been to hell and back, right? You're tired of having to be on the defense. You're tired of having to fight. You're tired of having to be, the, be on the defense all the time. You're tired of shit happening to you, all right? This puts you in a, um, a PTSD, a very cautious, guarded energy because... You're tired of being hurt. You're tired of the bullshit. Okay, so somebody here is taking on a very defensive energy. Um, possibly making plans to do something else or having a decision or a crossroads decision to make in regards to this situation. Possibly, like I said, choosing to be guarded. Choosing to go elsewhere. Choosing to do something different. Um, with the reverse uh, high priestess. Especially with this moon being here in the near future energies. I do feel like, um, like I said, I feel like there was something here that you either you didn't or don't know. Or something as far as secrets is in this situation as well as repressed emotions i feel like somebody here has repressed emotions and i also feel like there's some secrets in this situation that if you haven't already come into knowledge about them you most likely will all right with the reverse high priestess it talks about secrets being revealed and it talks about repressed emotions and i feel like this is accurate for the both so whether this defensive person is repressing some emotions or whether the person you're dealing with is repressing emotions regardless of all that somebody here is taking a defensive stance to this situation and this connection possibly making plans to do something different or just having a decision to make about it and um like i said realizing some things seeing some things more clearly if there is a crossroads between <laughs> basically if there's any kind of resistance to listening to your intuition don't do that because even though this talks about secrets being revealed i don't particularly like seeing the high priestess in the reverse and it kind of gives me a weird feeling being here in the outcome so just be careful about um, ignoring your intuition if that's something that, you know, is easy for you to do or something that you have problems with. Just try to pay extra attention to that. But I feel like, you know, this is, like I said, somebody not being receptive to a situation anymore, possibly due to some information that is or will be revealed. All right, let me see which one of these am I going to clarify. All right, um, can we please clarify this can we please clarify the moon and the devil and the near future energies for the love life of aries okay powers for the angels archangels for the ancestors and spirit guides of the collective can we please clarify the moon card with the devil card and the near future energies for the love life of aries for the remainder of 2019 you tried it there's too many cards can we please clarify the moon and the devil for the near future energies playing out within the love life of the Aries Collective for the remainder of 2019? I'm just going to pull a card in the middle. I need the reverse ten of swords. So, once again, so a situation has ended. Okay? Um, period. I, I feel like a situation has already ended. But also, with this being in the near future, this can talk about that same, with this reverse death card over here, it can talk about that same Lazarus kind of energy, like somebody wanting to, you know, resurrect the situation. But um, this could also be an energy of you healing. Um, this is clarifying the, um, this is clarifying the moon and the devil. So I do feel like, like I said, um, even if you aren't aware of it, somebody is having a, sh they're, they're paying like extra 
attention, energy to a person or a connection, okay? Like I said, somebody here could be wanting to heal a situation, wanting to apologize for something. Even if you don't know this, um, maybe you're not going to trust it. You know, maybe this person is hiding their feelings, like I said, but this is like somebody is wanting to heal or resurrect or apologize for a situation, all right? Okay, please clarify the devil with the page of cups and the near future energies for the Aries collective in regards to their love life for the remainder of 2019. Divine Hero Powers, Angels, Earth Angels, Divine Angels, and Spirit Guides of the Collective. Why is the devil here with the page of cups and the near future energies for the love life of Aries for the remainder of 2019? I'm picking a card from the middle. Alright, we have the, oh gosh, we have the reverse king of swords. I don't like that. Once again, repressed emotion, all right? Um, so the reverse king of swords, I don't like this at all, like at all. All right, so clarifying these two. So once again, I said this is obses obsession, um, infatuation, lust, somebody who is very much focused, laser focused on someone, okay? Um, paying a lot of emotion, paying a lot of like... Um, attention and giving a lot of energy to a connection like i said even if you're not aware of it um in the future you could be getting an apology from somebody you had a very strong connection with possibly a capricorn possibly an aquarius um any water sign but this is an energy where somebody is laser focused obsessed attracted um feeling some kind of strong connection to somebody else but this is a very controlling energy and it's emotionally immature okay the reverse king is towards somebody who can be like overly logical. It can be somebody who's controlling and manipulative and possibly cruel and their actions are harsh, okay? This is an abrasive kind of energy. This is a control freak kind of energy, right? This is somebody who um, can can manipulate and, and have an abrasive personality in regards to, you know, how they are and how they get what they want, right? So like I said, just be careful, all right? Um, I don't like this. I'm just going to be honest. So, um, it, it does look like somebody here is laser focused on a person, a connection. Um, but it doesn't look like whoever is bringing this offer, this page of cups, this apology, this this text, this this offer, this emotional offer. It's on a small scale. Um, I, I don't think that whoever is walking away is going to trust it. Alright, whoever is receiving this apology, I don't feel like you're going to trust it, okay? Um, and, and, and I'm telling you to be aware, just because this reverse king of swords and this devil, it's too controlling, all right? And it's borderline toxic, if not completely toxic, okay? This can be an abusive energy, so just like I said, yeah. Keep your eyes open, you know who you're dealing with. That's just a warning, because I have to say what I see. Um, all right, why is this reverse high priestess here in the outcome for the love life of the Aries Collective for the remainder of 2019? I'm going to pull a card from the middle. Alright, the reverse four cups again. So, once again, seeing things in more clarity. You know, secrets coming out, realizing some things, sudden awareness, choosing to move forward, choosing to um, accept things for what they are. You know, not staying stagnant in a situation, not staying in a situation that you're not happy with, not staying in a situation that can make you, you know, depressed, you know. So, getting out of a stagnant energy, definitely. And like I said, if that, if, like I said, I feel like there could be secrets here. Because the King of Swords in Reverse isn't the most honest. Okay, so like I said, just listen to your intuition, alright? Um, other than that, why is this um, Empress in the Reverse at the foundation of this reading in regards to the love life of the Aries Collective for the remainder of 2019? Why is the Reverse Empress here in the in the foundation of this reading. I'm going to pick a card from the middle. Okay, four swords. So, whoever's taking on this Empress energy, um, this is an energy of retreat, healing, recovery, uh, wellness, reflection, overall not taking um, external action towards a person, a connection anymore. This is somebody who's focused just on their energy balancing themselves out healing getting over things like i said this reverse five principle somebody could have had to take themselves out of the cold had to get themselves over a hard time had to free themselves from a difficult situation and with this four swords this empress is not 
up for taking any kind of action. Okay. Why is the reverse five of principles here at the foundation of this love reading for the Aries Collective for the remainder of 2019? I'm going to pick another card for the middle. Mm, the reverse five of principles is clarified by the nine of swords. So like I said, you had to, possibly this was a, this could have been a traumatic situation for some of you. Um, with this nine of wands, with this nine of swords, these are trauma cards. All right, these are sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, depressions, fears, um, things that keep you up at night. Things that keep you guarded on the defense. All right. So possibly some things happen here that you lost a lot of sleep, a lot of energy over. Things that really hurt you. Things that really bother you on an emotional, mental, and spiritual level. Uh, like I said, whoever is taking on this Empress energy had to free themselves and heal themselves. That's literally what this looks like. Somebody had to um, pull themselves up, you know. Free yourself from a stressful situation, a situation that just, it drained you. It took a lot out of you, okay? Um, yeah, can you please clarify this? Uh, reverse King of Swords. Can you please clarify the Reverse King of Swords and the Devil and the Near Future Energies in regards to the love life of the Aries Collective? Reverse Page of Pentacles. All right, this talks about laziness, greediness, and a lack of commitment. So like I said, with that reverse hyphen in the past, somebody is not conventional in terms of commitment, relationships, spirituality. Um, they take a different approach. They can be very rebellious, very stubborn. The hyphen is ruled by Taurus. Taurus is very stubborn, all right? Um, this is also more earth energy. And these are two pages clarifying a reverse king that's next to the devil. It's not a trustworthy energy. That's not a reliable energy. Um, and it can definitely be an immature energy, okay? Um, the King of Swords is not honest, he's not balanced, he can be a little bit irrational, he can be borderline narcissistic, okay? So, be careful. You are dealing with an energy that could, you know, have a strong fascination or an obsession with the connection or with you, but they don't have much to offer or they don't have a desire to offer anything long-term. But with the Reverse King of Swords, that's not an energy that's really capable of long-term because it's so self-oriented, okay? So, I feel like that's the energy that you're dealing with, I feel like that's pretty clear. And the message is all ready to free yourself and close out whatever the cycle is for you so that you can go towards your destiny and so that you can heal. All right? It's very hard to heal when you stay in proximity to the things that continue to hurt you. So close out a cycle, free yourself from whatever this is for you, and step into healing, wish fulfillment, and your destiny. Okay, um, Because whatever energy that you're dealing with... <laughs> They, they could have some some issues that they need to work through that's causing them to basically stagnate this connection with you or something along those lines. Whatever energy you're dealing with, is, it doesn't look like there's currently any action being taken. Like I said, possibly to, due to a third-party situation and possibly due to somebody, you know, having some kind of secret intentions, okay? So that's that. As far as your career, your work, and your finances, we have the Envy card over here. We have a lot of twos here as well. All right, twos talk about being on the right path, okay? With, especially with this Ascended Masters, they're usually there guiding you um, when they see that you are doing your best. You are following your inner wisdom and their, their wisdom as they're guiding you. So, Envy have envious energy around you maybe maybe you or someone else is taking on this energy of like this lack consciousness this poverty consciousness or just overall this this feeling of dissatisfaction wanting what someone else has okay possibly if you are coming into um this is clarified by the ace of pentacles and the two of wands again um possibly you are making plans you are moving towards some kind of new opportunity and you can have someone around you who is not happy about that okay ace of pentacles that can be something as simple as a payout no you can be receiving unexpected money or you could be coming into a new opportunity altogether something that can last you long term if it is successful okay so this is something that can possibly turn into a ten of pentacles it has the potential to but this is just the start but this is something that you can you can build on it's solid okay so if this isn't like you know unexpected money coming in this could be a business offer this could be a new idea that you're taking action on um, and whatever it is that you're planning on working on going towards being offered someone here could not be happy about that okay so once again just be aware of who you're dealing with be aware of your surroundings um, yeah don't trust everything at, don't trust everything um, what is it 
at face value. So the second card that is clarifying where current finances is really good. Another four, door to value. All right, so once again, this talks about coming into new beginnings on a career financial level. Like I said, if you're not just um, receiving like unexpected money or extra money, uh, this is coming into new opportunities, all right, new prosperous opportunities, things that you can really build, things that can bring you longevity and prosperity, all right, so this is really good, all right, so be on the lookout for new things coming your way, that's a really dope energy, I like that the Ace of Pentacles is here with the Door to Value, because that's essentially the same energy, all right, it's talking about prosperity coming in, all right, even if this is on a spiritual level, even though this is typically tangible with the Pentacles, even if it's on a spiritual level, it means that you're coming into a more abundant, prosperous energy, so that you can actually manifest you know tangible wealth and opportunities for yourself you know you can only manifest what you're, you're what you vibrate at so if you're at a high vibration and abundant vibration it's easier for you to manifest money and new opportunities okay so even if this is just energy which i don't think that it is i do feel like this is something tangible and new coming your way that you're stepping into um just just know that um the pentacles that that prosperous energy sometimes that can be it can correlate to more of a spiritual meaning but I do feel like this is a tangible opportunity or some kind of money coming your way. All right, this is further clarified by the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a very self-sufficient and grounded and independent energy. So I do feel like a lot of you could be coming into more um, financial independence and financial freedom. Uh, with the Empress being here twice, like I said, I do feel like you Aries are taking on this Empress energy if you're not dealing with this external to you. Um... The Empress is very abundant. She's very creative. She has the Midas touch. Everything that she touches turns to gold. She is like, she ranks over everybody. All right. All the feminine energy, she ranks over them. Um, the only person that she doesn't rank over is the High Priestess. But this is a very creative and abundant energy. And it pairs wonderfully with the Ace of Pentacles and the Door to Value. So, like I said, I feel like if you're, um, this is something that you're moving towards or something being offered to you. You could be a very creative person or you, you have like new ideas coming in. You have talents that you could be using that can open up a lot of doors and a lot of new beginnings for you. And you could um, like just have a lot of talents and a lot of gifts. All right. And your energy could just be very abundant to where it helps you to manifest this financial freedom and stability. This is overall a very prosperous energy that you will be in if you're not in it already. I think this is really beautiful. Um, this could definitely be why you have someone envious around you because things are really on the up and up for you. All right. If you don't see it yet, this is more of an energy where this is telling you the potential is there because your energy is so abundant and it's so creative that all you have to do is act on that so like i said if you're creative if there's something that you're working on keep working on it because i do see that that energy can bring in a lot of like long-term prosperity for you right there's some kind of new beginning that you're getting on a creative or career level and you're needing to really take that seriously all right because this is really good energy the nine of pentacles looks good feels good smells good she has put in the work and she's able to or this energy is able to enjoy the fruits of this labor if just in case you're a guy this energy is able to enjoy all of the hard work that it's done up until this point especially paired with the empress the empress is if she doesn't already have it she's ready to build her empire all right and like i said whatever you're working on whatever you're going towards just take it really seriously and give your all to it because this empress energy she literally she's gold all right so that's dope all right, the last card that we have is another three strategy um, clarified by the reverse ace of wands, the death card, another repeat, and the king of swords, another repeat. So, um, this reverse ace of wands, this is, a, this is kind of like a conflicting energy, to be honest. Um, it, as far as whatever you are strategizing, whatever you are planning, or whatever you're needing to make plans towards, um, I do feel like maybe there could be some... Um, Maybe some blockages or some delays in regards to that. I feel like something here on a career or a financial level is undergoing a complete transformation, okay? There could be something here that's ending, but this just really feels like something here is taking on a new form, okay? You have a lot of newness here, so if this isn't a situation undergoing transformation or plans, something that you're strategizing undergoing transformation, I feel like this is just you... This could even be something as simple as you revising some plans that you have made up until this point, like completely transforming them and doing something different, taking a more logical approach to something, all right? But with this reverse ace of um, wands being here, 
uh, it's possible that something here could uh, be kind of deflating or feel deflating to like your passion or your enthusiasm maybe getting uh, caught up in the details and the plans of it all you know makes someone here feel you know bored or makes you like kind of lose passion or enthusiasm for something but i feel like if that's an energy don't don't pay attention to that all right something here is just undergoing transformation it's not necessarily to discourage you it's just to um kind of get you to where you need to go all right but i do feel like whatever it is that you're planning and strategizing towards be open to you know new ideas and be open to change all right don't get stuck in in stagnant cycles that don't bring you you know enthusiasm or passion or things that kill your passion okay but definitely take a new approach to some things and you have like really beautiful energy on the horizon so whatever you're working on whatever you're trying to create or manifest or go after really stay focused on that because it looks good for you on a financial level on a career level whatever it is that you're wanting to do like I, I say go after it the cards really indicate that whatever you're working on can be very long-term and prosperous for you okay so as far as your spiritual messages the first card that we have out is the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so like i said in your love life you have the tower in the reverse in the past like i said i feel like you've been through some things here you've gained some wisdom you've undergone some transformations you, you're seeing a lot more things with clarity and you're you're entering into so many different new things in your life all right and and i feel like there could have been like some kind of drama some kind of conflict or some kind of negative or just unexpected event that happened maybe it shook your world up a little bit just know that whatever happened whatever was a catalyst for you or whatever it is that you have learned up until this point know that even if it seems negative or something like that it, it was for your highest good all right so if something fell through like i said if you were dealing with like a stubborn energy or just a lot of drama a lot of low vibes just know that those things just happen as a catalyst all right that's just a part of this thing called life okay um this is further clarified by the strength card and the reverse lovers all right so like i said if something here happened that was undermining to your confidence that made you doubt yourself that brought out your insecurities or if there's something here that just took your strength possibly like i said due to a relationship a connection um know that like i said things happen you know for your highest good things happen to get you to where you need to be to get you to learn lessons that possibly you otherwise would not learn okay so basically is and, and, and i don't even like this saying i used to hate hearing this all the time but things really do happen for a reason all right so whatever has happened to you um if it shook your confidence a little bit if it made you doubt yourself if it brought out your insecurities especially in regards to a relationship or a decision try not to let that hold you back too long okay because things just things happen how they're supposed to happen okay we further have for years your spiritual life your spiritual journey transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing so like i said you've been through some things with that four swords being in your love life you're definitely i feel like you're in self-care mode self-protection mode um whatever you went through with that nine of swords and that nine of wands that's being put through the ringer all right that is like where you don't have you don't have any peace in regards to a situation or you're not in a very peaceful energy it's a lot of conflict a lot of inner turmoil all right a lot of emotional spiritual wounds all right and i feel like you're healing those things right now you're transforming all right like i said with this death card some things are changing even though this is in your work in your career you have the death card here twice once in the upright once in the reverse things are changing for you you have a lot of new energy on the horizon and whatever it is that you are worried about whatever it is that maybe you feel like is holding you back you don't need to feel that way and especially with this star card over here um and that that's an energy where when you carry on that star energy people see you you are a star so um it, it's definitely a when you're divinely guided and divinely protected as with the star card and people see that and you radiate that you really don't have anything to worry about and when you're stepping onto your destiny and you allow things to take form healing happens transformation happen happens and things that you probably never thought could happen either within you or external to you they start to happen because your energy your vibration is changing you're turning into something else a better version of yourself and so your reality has to change with it it has to change with you 
Okay, this is further clarified by the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. So once again, I feel like a lot of you are um, could be in self-protection mode, guarding your energy, focus on you, your healing, and your forward movement. All right, and I do feel like um, whoever's taking this energy on, you're moving very fast, okay? Moving very fast, especially with this Knight of Swords. Um, he moves, oof, he, he's probably the fastest moving knight in the deck. Um, the only one who can possibly make him run for his money is the Knight of Wands, so... This change is happening possibly very quickly for you, okay? And with this Four of Pentacles, I do feel like you could be just focused on conserving your energy, protecting yourself, right? This can be a very guarded kind of energy. Um, but make sure that in the midst of this transformation that you're not being rigid or, or narrow-minded, okay? Be very careful of that. But definitely um, protect yourself as you need to as you move forward with this Knight of Swords, energy of the Knight of Swords. When he's on a mission nobody's nobody's stopping him okay so this is a really good energy to be in on a spiritual level because it means that you're not stagnant that's good okay furthermore we have sisterhood of the rose beauty devotion priestess mystic teacher so like i said um you've been through a lot and you have a lot of wisdom now and you have a lot of spiritual protection you have ascended masters around you trying to reassure you and guide you and with this being here, this can talk about, um, some of you could be natural mystics, you could be natural teachers, on a, um, natural spiritual teachers, or that could, that could be what your life purpose is being here. Okay, that could be why you're so incarnated, because you're supposed to be a spiritual leader or a spiritual teacher or a, or a priest or a priestess. You could be here to um, impact others in a positive way to help them heal and to help them on their journey. Okay, so a lot of you, you could be you know, healers, spiritual workers, leaders, light workers, whatever you identify with, you could definitely have a lot of spiritual energy within you and, your, and around you, and your focus could be on spiritual spiritual matters, okay? I feel like you're evolving into, I feel like after this transformation happens, you will be at an elevated status, especially on a spiritual level. It's like you are, I don't know, it's like you're getting a crown or something, I know that probably sounds weird, but I feel like you're stepping into um, power, stepping into possibly a leadership role, not just for yourself and possibly for others. Um, that's a really beautiful energy to be in. This is clarified by the Three of Wands with the Tower and the Reverse Queen of Swords. So, ooh, once again, um, kind of like what I said with that Four of Pentacles, this Reverse Queen of Swords kind of bothers me a little bit. So, with this being here, like I said, you have the potential to be... To have a very strong spiritual power and influence, not just for yourself, but for others, if that's something that you want to do as like a healer, a teacher, a leader, counselor, whatever that is for you. Um, this is your potential. This is what you are at your soul level. This is what you're transforming into if you're not already. So with these being here, I feel like you could be on guard, waiting for something unexpected or waiting for something bad to happen. All right, and I say this because it's reverse queen of swords. She's somebody who is a bit scorned. All right, she can have some lingering resentments to some things that have happened to her in the past, but she's somebody who is not the most receptive and she's not open. And I want to make sure that if you are taking on this teacher, mystic, priestess, priest, healer, spiritual leader kind of energy, you have to heal and you can't always expect the worst. So just be very careful of that. Okay, it's fine to want to protect yourself, but you also have to allow yourself to heal and you have to allow yourself to be able to receive the things the positive things that are trying to come your way and the reverse queen of swords can be somebody who can block her own blessings if she's not careful if she's holding on to the past and all of the negative things that have happened to her constantly um this can be an energy of constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop or constantly waiting for things to be ruined or for something bad to happen so try not to expect the worst because you don't want to create self-fulfilling prophecies okay especially with this priestess mystic card this is an energy that is very good it can be very good at manifesting you know a leader a teacher a mystic a priestess those are um people who have a high manifestation power Okay, because you're, you're a spiritual leader, you have a high vibration, so you just have to be very careful that, one, you're not being held back by lower energies, and also that you're not holding yourself back, blocking your own blessings by holding on to past hurts, past resentments, and being narrow-minded and always on defense about, oh shit, I can't relax, When when's the next bad thing going to happen? So try not to have that energy because you don't want to create it by constantly focusing on it, okay? So no self-fulfilling prophecies of, you know, tower moments, okay? Right, and at the bottom of the deck over here, we have 
Pleiades, all right, and this card wanted to come out twice, okay? So, Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So, this kind of goes right back to the priestess, mystic teacher, sisterhood of the rose. Um, a lot of you could be star seeds, okay? This is a star seed. Look that up if you've never heard of it, but it just basically, your, your soul, you have a galactic soul. You come from a different energy. You don't originate on earth. Your soul has been through a lot of different um, stars, a lot of different lifetimes, you know, basically this could be a very significant lifetime for you because you could be being called to step into a leader, teacher, um, spiritual role. You could be um, being called to have like a significant impact on humanity in whatever way that you do, uh, whether you're a creative person, whether you're a spiritual person, whatever, everybody has their own gift and whatever your gift is, you could be needing to use your gift to help people on, you know, a more of on a larger scale i don't want to say global or international but you could be needing to have an impact on a lot of different people through your gifts so definitely be open to that because you're here to ascend in your vibration and you could also be here to help other people along their journey all right star seeds always have a special a special energy and a special mission about them when they incarnate okay this is further clarified by the king of wands which is your energy technically with the reverse line of swords so I feel like this is you, all right, even though this is technically Leo energy for me, this is fire energy, I feel like this is you, Aries, um, once again, needing to step into that leader role, needing to take action, needing to, willing to be, um, willing to do your own thing, willing to tread your own path, you know, taking on this leader role, not just for yourself, but for others who may need your help, but this reverse nine of swords, this is another repeat here, um, you could be needing to, one, you're needing to heal from past stressful times, past traumas and stresses and anxieties. And I do feel like things are looking up for you on a spiritual level. Um, even though you could have some blockages that you're working through, I do feel like there's more good here than bad. And aside from stepping into this, this fiery, action-oriented leader role for yourself and for others, I feel like you can be needing to teach other people how to overcome the things that you've been through. How to overcome stress and worries and anxieties and traumatic situations. Okay? Um, possibly for some of you, uh, if you've experienced like spiritual attacks, um, you could be needing to uh, teach people how to deal with that, how to deal with spiritual issues, okay? So that's a really good energy. So not only are you overcoming this nine of swords, um, things, you know, looking up for you, but you're also teaching other people. You're being like this light at the end of the tunnel for others through your leader action oriented stepping into your leader and your power role okay so this is a very good energy to be able to overcome and also to be able to help other people overcome this this knight of swords being able to bring other people hope after you know all the shit that they've dealt with as well so i'm going to pull an advice card all right do we have any last messages of insight and guidance for the collective of aries for the remainder of 2019 singing and dancing okay um, divine hair powers, great angels, archangels, divine answers, and spirit guides of the collective. Do we have any more advice for the spiritual journey and the overall lives of the Aries collective for the remainder of 2019? Okay, I'm going to pick a card out of the middle. Alright, Hello Way Addictions, Singing and Dancing, and bottom of the deck is Crown Chakra. Okay, so... Singing and dancing, basically needing to whatever physical activity that you like to do, whether you're creative and you express yourself through art or music or dancing or whatever it is that you do, you're needing to do that, whatever it is that allows you to meditate and kind of like just be in flow and forget all about worries and time and all of that. Um, music, movement can really help you to tap into your natural gifts and abilities. So if that's something that you are wanting to do, if you're wanting to do dance or singing as a form of meditation or retreat so that you can tap into your you know, natural gifts and abilities, do that. If you're just needing to shift your energy through singing and dancing and being creative, do that as well. Like I said, if you're creative, this is, the one, this is a wonderful time to take action on a, um, on a career level because things look like they will line up wonderfully for you. With Hill Addictions, you're needing to, like I said, release traumatic energies, release past resentments, okay? Possibly release a toxic connection that you've been dealing with. Um, and with the crown chakra, oh, let me read this to you guys. 
It's time to let go of the haters that are blocking you from your heart's desires. You can ask Archangel Raphael for help with that. With Crown Chakra, this says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. So, um, you, like I said, you're going through a transformation, so you could be experiencing like a Crown Chakra opening or awakening. You could be going through an, a spiritual ascension process. Whatever this is, you are needing to pay attention to your ideas, your dreams, your intuition, your gifts, your creativity. You're needing to be more creative. You need to have more, you know, time to express yourself on a creative level and do things that you enjoy so that you can receive this, you know, these spiritual downloads, okay? Um, you can wear crystals, listen to healing frequencies that help you to work with your crown chakra and meditate more. Even if you would prefer to meditate through dancing, singing, or some kind of creative activity that you can lose yourself in. The whole point of meditation is being able to have self-awareness and being fully immersed and present within whatever it is that you're doing. Anything can be a meditation, so don't think that you have to sit down in order to do that, because you don't. Alright, um, do we have any more advice for the Aries Collective for the remainder of 2019? Alright, boundaries and the void. Bottom of the deck is a two, new beginnings. Alright, so we actually have... Um, 11, 22 here with this one, with this 12, and with this two. 11, 22. So that's a that's an angel number for you as well as long, as well as with seven, 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 three, 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 and two, two, two. Um, this is a really dope energy. So basically, you're needing to make sure that you instill boundaries. Okay, it, like I said, something here took a lot of your energy, a lot of your time, and probably, most likely it left you wounded because it left you needing to heal yourself and take yourself out of the cold. And for some of you, so that energy you're needing to learn boundaries okay not letting someone violate basically <laughs> instill your boundaries where you need to you know what you've dealt with in the past and you now know what you need to do in order to make sure that you know your boundaries aren't violated again um furthermore with this void card this talks about releasing releasing the old okay dark moon is all about Closing out cycles, releasing the old so that you can move on to something new. I apologize, my voice is going out. But this is needing to release old things so that new energy can come in. At the bottom of the deck with the new moon, the new beginnings, the dark moon literally become, it comes right before this new moon. And this new moon is all about new beginnings. And like I said, both in your general energies as well as in your, um, your career and your financial energies, you have a lot of new things on the horizon. You're just needing to make the space for them by releasing things that aren't working for you anymore and aren't beneficial to you anymore and are not in a vibrational alignment with you anymore, okay? So to help these new beginnings come through for you, you're needing to take a good look at what you need to release so that they can come in um, quicker and with more ease, okay? So, Aries, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, let me know what you think about this. I hope that something here resonated for you. And I truly appreciate it. With love, honor, and appreciation to all of you. I'll see you in the next video. And enjoy the rest of your December, your, the rest of your 2019, your holidays. And I hope that if you celebrate Thanksgiving, you enjoyed that as well. Okay? So, until next time. Mwah.